Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your quality from this to this. In this video, I will show you how to download shaders, my shader settings, my in-game graphic settings, how I edit my videos and what I use to edit, how to enhance your quality, and more. For my first tutorial, I will show you how to download shaders. Before we get started, this tutorial requires Windows with an RTX NVIDIA graphics card, which means no mobile devices and no Mac devices. For reference, I use a Dell Alienware laptop connected to a Dell monitor. Anyways, to the tutorial, start with going to the first link in my description, which will open a link to the profile inspector. Now download and open the zip file. Once it's open, now scroll down to where it says other. Where it says Ansel flags for enabled applications, I want you to press the arrow and make sure it says allowed, then press apply changes. Once that's done, go back to my description and open the mega file. In mega, I want you to download the folder and open on your desktop. Now open the shaders folder and copy all the files. Next, go to your PC, open your driver, go to program files, then NVIDIA Corporation. Now create a new folder and name it Ansel. Now open the Ansel folder and paste all the files we copied previously. Now go to search, look up Roblox, open in file location, then press on Roblox again, open file location. Mine is already renamed, but it should show up as Roblox Player Beta. Just rename that to Euro Trucks 2. When opening Roblox, make sure you're always opening it with Euro Trucks 2 and not Roblox, or your shaders will not show up. Once Roblox opens, press Alt plus F3 at the same time. For me, it sometimes says a supported game is required to use this feature. To fix this, I just spam Alt plus F3. And for me, it should show up. If this does not work for you, make sure your driver is updated. If you're interested in my shader settings, I have a link in my description for a tutorial. Now for my in-game settings for best quality, make sure your graphic settings are in max at both Roblox settings and Dress to Impress settings. Another question I sometimes get is what I record with. You may not know this, but your recording device has a big impact on your quality. I use OBS Studio. This is the best screen recording app I've used so far. Once you've downloaded it, I recommend looking up tutorials on YouTube for the best OBS settings. For my clips, I screen record for the best quality. Also, a big one for me is the photo mode, which really enhances quality, so I definitely recommend using it. When I'm done recording, I upload the screen recordings to my Mega to set on my MacBook, which is where I edit. Now for the editing part, I use Adobe After Effects. I personally pay $20 a month for this, but there are many ways for you to crack it for free. For my slideshows, I have a project file where I import my clips, and when I render them, I save them as a PNG. If you're an After Effects editor, I'll link my page in my bio where I sell my colorings. For my Roblox videos, I usually use 20% MBL, and for my edits, I use 50%. Then in my next project file, I combine all the clips I previously saved as a PNG and put them in a video for Topaz. These are my render settings if you'd like to copy. Now I open Topaz. Again, Topaz is money, but personally, I and... Basically, everybody else has cracked it because it's really expensive, but it's really easy to crack. Now, if you'd like, you can copy my Topaz settings. Once Topaz is done, I bring the video back to AE and save as a PNG once again. Then I airdrop the photos back to my phone. Well, that's it for my quality tutorial. Now, I've been asked a couple times for how to grow an account, so here's my advice. I've been an editor for six years. I've made many editing accounts. Some failed, some did good, but this is what I personally learned. Well, first, I think a reason I got big on Feminine Urge is because I started posting Just to Impress when it first started growing, and there weren't many Just to Impress creators yet. Another thing that helped me is I created my own video format. My video format and my shaders really helped me get known for something. If you look back at my old videos, you can see how I slowly tweaked my format till it was just right. So don't be afraid to experiment. Which ties me back to my first piece of advice, it's best to stay unique and stand out rather than to copy other people's content. There's absolutely no problem with taking inspo, but you'll have a way better chance at growing if you make yourself known for something. I'll list some examples of unique creators from what I've seen who are starting trends. First, very notable person is Bunny DTI. The intro and the fact that she used videos instead of slideshows really made her stand out and I've seen many people copy or take inspo from her format. Next person is Pooks DTI. She's a very unique and beautiful layout. I've noticed many people starting to take inspo from her, which is helping her grow fast and helping her stand out. And one last example is Marlia DTI. Not just her format that makes her stand out, but she's best known for her creative hacks. And keep in mind, layout isn't the only way to stand out. It's just a very obvious one for me, but your creative, unique outfit styles and aesthetics also help you stand out. 
Now back to quality, TikTok really likes high quality videos which are more likely to reach the For You page. Some mistakes I've seen are people screenshot photos in their phone and make every slide a different format. Definitely don't do this because TikTok does not like that at all. When making a Dress to Impress account, I 100% recommend making a new account rather than an account you've had for a while. This will help you start fresh and get in the For You page more efficiently. When you make your account, make sure you're posting often, stay active so not only TikTok likes you but it helps you reach more people. Speaking of reaching people, I've met many super nice people in the Dress to Impress community. Make sure you're always supporting one another. If you're having a hard time finding creators to follow, I have a public favorites folder in my profile if you'd like to check that out. Now lastly, I've been asked how to improve your outfit. As you can see, I'm a top model. I started playing Dress to Impress in November 2023, a month after Dress to Impress came out. A frequently asked question I get is how to layer. One thing you have to understand is you can't learn how to layer overnight, especially if you're new. I'll put some photos on the screen of my progress of layering over the past months. So though I can teach you how to layer, I'll give you some tips on how to learn. One of my favorite things to do is play in free play mode. This really gives you time to experiment with combos and learn your way around the map. One thing that helps me layer is I know what looks good together. I've slowly built off of what I know and I incorporate new things one at a time. A personal thing that has taught me how to layer is over layering is always better than under layering. You're never going to learn what looks good together if you don't try. Not related to layering, but using patterns definitely makes your outfits more interesting and easily enhances it. One simple thing that really makes my outfits is custom makeup. It adds a personal touch to your outfits which really help. Well that's it for this video, I really hope this helped you and gave you some perspective. Before I go, make sure to follow my socials and join my new discord linked in my description. Bye!